Okay, today is March 12, 2016. It's about 1.30 uh, Pacific time here in Northern California. Uh, let's take a look at the crude oil. Last week we were looking for this 38.58 as a target and uh, you know finally hit that uh, number and it seems like it got a little resistant up here so we're saying that once it get up here we want to see how it react. So we might see a little bit of a pullback okay, before it continue to move up and right now I do believe this right here is the bottom for this cycle uh, you know for the crew so but anything could happen but at least right now it seemed like you know we could get a little pullback and set up what we call a potential uh, inverted head and shoulder here okay so look for the possibility of a possible pullback and maybe retest this 35 35 level here right okay but right now it seems like uh, you know cool oil uh, might uh, you know have made a bottom down here at least at this particular cycle and you know so let's take a look at the goal again you know we're basically talking about goal making a you know a, a run and not to chase it and I still expect it to pull back here to retest this 618 okay I think this a uh, little bit extended uh, let me uh, go and we draw this Fibonacci retracement and we're gonna take this assumedly uh, this uh, here uh, you know for a uh, potential pullback uh, let me see what do I have here okay alright All right, so this is the uh, 618 down here now okay so that's kind of away from this uh, 1191.70 Right, so we might get a little bit more run because I do expect it to this right here to be somewhere around uh, some sort of an extension or retracement level. Maybe we get a little bit run up here at 1311, 1312 before it actually uh, make a little bit pullback and maybe get into the 618 uh, 50 percent retracement zone here. Essentially I'm looking for something that maybe could move this retracement zone up at this level. Right, because originally I was looking at this right here. It came down to the 618, but that wasn't uh, you know that that's a nice 618 extension. If we use that, uh, maintain that as a move. Uh, let's see if I go and you know we do that. Uh, let me take this extension out, and that's what's basically the uh, you know the uh, the bull flag that we're looking at. And let me go back and redraw this uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement. Right? I think I had it down here. Okay, so we got this. Uh, you know, this retracement uh, touched the 618 and got a bounce. And if we do see that as a true bounce of a uh, retracement, then we would expect a symmetry move of possibility of getting up to this 1618, which is 1383 or at least a extension move to the 127 which would be 1316 okay then we saw this little bit of a, a flag or pennant develop then we say okay now if we do a uh, major move of this uh, you know bull flag here right, then we will get a uh, some sort of uh, say we get this little uh, well actually the flag kind of broke out of here so I want to redraw that let me take this out and we draw this now again a little bit messy here with uh, a lot of these lines so if we do this let's say we just use this as a uh, breakout point the major move point then 80 percent will be somewhere around this 168 I mean 1618 right that 1383 so essentially if this thing that uh, goal continues to move up that's basically the target that we're looking at right now uh, right now it seems to be uh, kind of uh, consolidating down here so there's a possibility it might uh, you know uh, uh, do a little bit of a consolidation before it get up to uh, this point so we just kind of keep an eye on this and uh, you know there's always a possibility of a false move that it could come back down right, and retest the 618 and then maybe we'll get a new extension of coming up like this so we just kind of have to keep an eye on that at least right now if you're not into the goal don't go chase it because it is getting a little bit volatile up here All right. so 
and the uh, the long term bond with the treasury. We're looking at this ten year. I I was looking for a little bit of a consolidation up here before I make another move, and then you can see the ECB made a little bit of announcement here, uh, and uh, caused this thing to uh, pull back a little bit. It seems to indicate that the we the uh, ECB action it might. Uh, get a uh, little bit of a leeway for the Fed to increase the interest rate okay without causing the dollar too much of an impact but I think that is not the case this is probably a temporary aberration and um, do expect this thing to uh, move back up and next week the FOMC meeting uh, uh, going to take place so we're going to be watching this and uh, you know still expect this thing to move back up and uh, uh, I'm uh, looking at the, uh, the the possibility that there will be no rate hike in March right? and then if we look at the 30-year bond the 30-year bond is you know still consolidating up here got a little bit of a blimp below this 50 percent so I'm expecting this to kind of hovering between this area and then move back up you know, as the FNOC uh, meeting uh, adjourned. And then the dollar, we did expect the dollar to pull back. And you can see this little bit pop on here after the ECB announced decision that the euro actually made a, you know, made a little pop there. So uh, that kind of gives the, uh, the indication uh, or the possibility that the Fed could raise rate and increase. You know, that would in effect take the dollar up a little bit, but the differential between the euro and the dollar might not be that great. So that, that's basically what the market is kind of looking at to say, um, you know, that seems to be uh, giving a little bit of a crack for the uh, Fed to increase the uh, interest rate. But uh, as we assessment come along, that not th that is not the case, okay? So uh, uh, right now it's kind of been hovering down here. I do expect it to come down to this 95 and break it. Remember I was looking for the H pattern breakdown. I do see a weaker dollar coming, okay? Because uh, we need to get the corporate earning up. I mean, not by uh, uh, stock uh, buyback, but by actual, uh, you know, revenue uh, growth and that kind of stuff. And we need a weak dollar to uh, to do that. Okay. And then here's the uh, the uh, uh, Dow Jones future. We're basically looking for a breakout of this uh, resistance here. So it's trying to make a little bit of a breakout on Thursday. But again, you know, that uh, volatility on the ECB decision that's kind of make uh, you know create a little bit uh, you know indecision here you can see the spinning top doji here that is pure you know indecision right you know the market seems to be closed right back at where it did uh, the previous day uh, but on Friday we got a little bit of movement made a little peak above this level so we're gonna see could it hold above this level because uh, if it does it will continue to move up and we're looking for this level or this pivot to be taken out or at least to be get tested and then the ES the S&P 500 future we are looking for this FOMC meeting back in September this pivot 2011.75 it came within two tick as a matter of fact after uh, it did uh, settle at 2011.75 right on the tick okay so we're gonna look continue to look for this to break through and get up to this 2075 Right, we've been looking at this level to be taken out. These two level, right? Okay, this area here. Been watching this for months. Okay. Well, yeah, it's almost for a month. You know, ever since this down here, we, we were looking for this breakout of this 1940 and come up and take out this pivot. Right. And if we uh, take a look at the uh, cash index, the S&P 500, again, it took out that 2020. Uh, it got the uh, 2022-19 close on Friday, okay, so it's taking that out, and we expect it to uh, continue to move up to this uh, pivot here, 2081. Then if we look at the spider, the SPY, uh, slightly under this, uh, 202.89. Uh, my pin was 202, unfortunately it went up uh, a little bit more than I uh, expected. But it was between the 202 and 203 on the uh, uh, open interest uh, chart that I was able to, uh, you know, get the data off uh, after the uh, Thursday close. So again, this is more of a guessing game when you play this open interest stuff. You know, try to guess the pin. That's why it is a guess. You know, because I don't have the real time data on the open interest to see where the max pain uh, level is for the. Uh, 
uh, you know, for the uh, 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 you know, option to close out. But you, know, you kind of get some idea. And if you did uh, uh, capture the 202 call early in the morning when it was down below 20 cents, like at one time, I think it was uh, even below uh, you know, 18 cents or so. And, and you would have made 300% because I think it was a high was 70 some odd cents. Okay, so but those are a lot of ticket, you know, they don't uh, happen too often. And most of the time when you play those type of a lot of stuff, you end up uh, losing 100% more so than, uh, than actually uh, make them make money off of them. But uh, you know, it's a game, right? So anyway, we're looking for this thing to punch through and get up to this 207.79. As I have said uh, in my uh, uh, blog and also uh, some of my tweet, that the uh, market internal continue to show strength. Okay, although a lot of the uh, technical pattern and moving averages, oscillator and all those stuff, you know, kind of still showing sign that there could be a possible reversal to uh, uh, to the, the uh, uh, downturn and that sort of thing. But you know, when we watch the market, you have to watch the proper thing. And even though you know what to watch, you have to know how to watch them. Okay, just because you know what to watch doesn't mean, you know, that you, 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 you got the uh, right tool and the right gauge, right? Because if you are watching it in the improperly and some of the conclusion that you join could uh, be more uh, detrimental than as if you don't watch it at all. Okay, but again, you know, it's a, uh, 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 some sort of analogy. I'm looking outside right now, you know, the, uh, you know, the, mm, yeah, it's kind of get overcast. Uh, seems like a uh, so-so day, but the weatherman say we're going to get pouring rain uh, within two hours, right? And it's the same thing, like if we're watching the market here, you know, we see all these, uh, you know, moving average, crossover, you know, overbought oscillator, you know, and all these good stuff saying that the market is going to turn over. But the thing is, you know, if you look at it internal, we say the other thing. It's just like the weatherman is, they don't just look up the sky and say, oh, hey, you know, the sun is out and it's not going to rain, you know, that kind of stuff, right? So it's the same thing. It's just like, you know, when we watch the market, we need to take the pulse, you know, the internal or the pulse of the market. Right? It's just like, you know, we we don't look, you know, just kind of look ourselves in the face uh, on the mirror to say, oh, yeah, a color of the, uh, you know, facial color still look good, you know, we're not, doesn't look sick and that sort of thing. But if you take your pulse and the blood pressure, it might tell another thing, right? So in the market, what we're trying to gauge is not, you know, after the fact, you know, yes, you know, those Adam will be breaking down, punching through trend line, moving average will be declining, you know, steeply going down to race for zero and that sort of thing. Okay, but by the end, you know, if we wait until we know those vital signs is so bad that our face is pale and all this kind of stuff, we probably be half dead, right? Okay, what we're trying to do is we want to gauge you know, uh, and take the pulse of ourselves, you know, to see internally how strong or how healthy our body is, okay? We don't want to wait until that externally it shows that we already, you know, been uh, uh, sick for a while, okay, to a point that we are really sick now, okay? Because what we want to do is we want to catch the first sign of a symptom that we're going to be sick, and then we're going to start treating it. Or so essentially, it's the same thing like in the market. When you watch the internal, we want to we want to detect when the market starts showing sign, the first sign of changing. Right? Then we could go and uh, uh, you know uh, 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 sort of you know prepare for what's to come. Okay, you know, not to say, not to wait until, you know, these uh, price patterns break down, you know, like a uh, head and shoulder or whatever, okay? You know, because by then it'd be too late. You know, most of the stock has already been down 50%, right? Okay, you know, yes, it's good. It's a confirmation that the market been sick and it's going down. But, you know, again, you know, you don't, I I if we treat ourselves, you know, monitoring ourselves like that, you know, we'd be half dead. We'd be in the emergency room by then, right? When we, get, you know, see ourselves pale and, uh, you know, pulse is weak and that sort of thing, right? And uh, they say, yeah, we definitely, uh, something is wrong, you know? Okay, so it's the same thing with watching the market. Watch the internal. Right? A lot of time I tweak to say the breath, okay? And then a lot of different people have uh, different definition of what breath is, right? Okay, to me, 
I use it interchangeably. Breath and internal is basically very much uh, the same thing. It's a set of indicators about the market, the strength of the market, and it's different. It's not like watching the stock that we watch the price of the stock. Remember, okay, the index is a representation of a stock market, a market of stocks, okay? Right? When you watch Apple, it's a stock. It's not a stock market, right? So it's totally different. So you have to watch different things. So enough said about this. Okay, so uh, let's go and take a look at the uh, NASDAQ 100 future. Again, we're basically you know, looking for this thing to come up to this uh, 4365 and a pullback of this uh, possibility of coming down, you know, to uh, this uh, this level here, 4246, which we got a little bit of a pullback here and now it's punching to you. So I still expect it to uh, also make its move to come up and tag this 444175. It is lagging the uh, S&P a little bit, but, uh, you know, I think the mobile stock been hit a little bit. Uh, more in the last week than the uh, the uh, the blue chip, you know. So so we're gonna see uh, this uh, take out this 4365 this coming week and punch to this 4441. Uh, and if we uh, take a look at the uh, ETF, the QQQ, uh, we see that it peaked to this 10608. Uh, again, you know, need to take out this uh, 107, 119, and 108, 73. So I'm looking for that to uh, this thing to continue to move up and uh, you know get to these uh, level there. And then if we take a look at the uh, Russell 2000, the uh, the futures. So we saw a little bit of a pullback on 1053.60, and now we're going to see a continuation move of this 1109. Okay. And then on the IWM, the ETF, similarly, we're looking at this 110.61. That's the next target. Uh, it did this pull back to this 104.99. Remember last week we were saying that we have too many consecutive updates and be cautious that we will see a minor pullback, and which uh, we did. And it kind of uh, got a little bit of uh, exaggerated uh, by the, uh, uh, the ECB uh, 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 announcement day on Thursday. Okay, but uh, it held the level that we uh, were expecting to uh, see a test of uh, support. Okay, so that is the uh, indexes. Oh, uh, the other thing is, let's go and take a look at the transportation. I just want to highlight the Dow Jones transportation. You can see it continues to show strength. That we uh, did experience the same pullback as the uh, general market did, the overall market. So uh, we'll continue to uh, you know see it come up. And possibly uh, test this 77.28, okay, and see could it uh, break to uh, this uh, this level here, okay. And then just to follow up on the VIX, we did uh, cautious about you know caution about the VIX, you know, uh, getting up to this 23.55, uh, and then we also was uh, looking at the uh, to monitor this uh, 1958, 18.82. So we did show a little bit of a fear factor uh, early in the week, right? Because of the uh, you know the market uh, uh, pull back a little bit and the run up that we have experienced uh, with our pause, and then uh, then the uh, fear kind of uh, subsides again. Uh, we do expect this thing to possibly maybe uh, pull back a little bit more, uh, but again, you know the volatility is a funny thing, right? You know it all depends on what the market sentiment is. Uh, and, uh, and the thing is, you know, uh, people was bu buying insurance in anticipation, okay, what to come, not reacting what is happening, okay. So, so we need to see what the anticipation is, uh, you know, on the FOMC, because there is still a lot of people thinking that the FOMC uh, might uh, make a uh, surprise announcement or something like that. But I do not believe that there will be a rate hike. But if there is, you know, some sign that uh, kind of tilt that uh, uh, that uh, uh, sentiment, then the market uh, might show a little bit more volatility, and you can see this thing might make another move up to uh, this uh, 2355. Uh, but if the uh, uh, the sentiment remain to be complacent, then you probably see this thing to come down to this 1958. Then it might set up for a little bit of a surprise. Uh, flush in the market 
to just kind of spook some of the weekend out and uh, and then continue to move higher okay so let's go and take a look at the stock that we've been uh, following uh, the momo stock apple and we see apple making this move you know to this 101.53 uh the pin i have was 102 so it came close all right so it's kind of been hovering around this 101.50 i do expect it to move up to this 105 uh 50 that's the uh, next target level okay and continue to monitor for that move upward and facebook we got the little pullback remember we were saying that it came up pretty uh, uh, uh you know uh, a lot since uh, it was down here at the uh, you know early february uh so we did expect it to pull back a little bit and it pulled back so right now it's uh, kind of making a little bit more little jump here and if we put a new uh, retracement here okay you could also see that the 141 is close to this 100 percent pivot here so we're still targeting this level here maybe possibly uh you know retest of the previous high uh, or possibly uh, even uh, take that out and make a new high and then the uh, netflix again we're mentioning that the netflix you know on this trend line here bumping against this resistance and we get a pullback we got pullback test on this 95 once again and it did came down we tested 195 and held again and right now it bumping up against this trend line so we look for this thing to break break above this trend line and move beyond this 10186 then we can see this 110 be tested okay this pivot up here all right but if it uh, decide to pull back and this is the level of support that we're anticipating 9221 but that is before i mean only after it you know uh, break below this 95 uh, uh level that's uh, 95 ish level because it appeared to have uh, quite a support down at that 95 level uh, at least uh, right now and then we got the twitter uh, Twitter, uh, we, we, we were talking about a little bit of a shake and bake, you know, on which we were talking about this uh, potential, you know, uh, inverted head and shoulder, right, and maybe uh, come down. It seems to uh, pull down a little bit, uh, pull back a little bit more than I anticipated, but again, you know, if it, uh, if it holds this, uh, you know, essentially this is the, uh, the 50% uh, retracement here from this, uh, you know, this, uh, this move here. So if we uh, could get this uh, uh, punch you back, and uh, again we're still looking at these level uh, potential target. Uh, right now we just have to uh, see can it get back above this 19, uh, 1901, 1904, you know this level here. Okay, and then we got uh, Amazon. Right? We did expect Amazon to pull back, uh, so it came down, pull back. Right now we're still looking for this thing to make it smooth to 638. Okay and also google there was some weakness in google in the previous week uh we mentioned that and we we're expecting it to come back and maybe possibly retest this uh you know 700 level and we want to make sure that it could hold and it came down to uh, close to it and then we got this little move now move back up so we expect this thing to uh, uh break to the 752 752 46 okay right uh, and uh, maybe possibly make a move back up here to this like 10 and finally we got uh, Tesla uh, Tesla we saying that the momentum is still continue to be strong although we got a little bit of pullback uh, but we uh, were looking at this thing coming back up on this uh, this song here we're saying that the momentum is still uh, on on uh, in favor of the uh, upside and we're still looking for this to be uh, to be tested if it's not to be uh, taken out okay so that's basically it and good luck.